PSG playing last season's silver medalist Lens in the weekend's final game. Monaco perhaps sniffed a chance to close the gap at the top on home soil. Saturday afternoon's game saw them face a pretty tough opponent themselves, though Haran's side, who have been very impressive since Will Steele's appointment last campaign, are now flirting with the top five. It's also a fixture that hasn't been overly kind to Le Monégasque. Coming into this match winless in their previous seven home games against Rance in the league. Their last such win coming just under a decade ago, in February 2014. It's the home side who dominates the early parts of the first half, though. Almost two thirds of possession and the better chances. Ivan Juf in the Rance goal, doing well to get out quickly and deny Kasum Watara. French goalkeeper then produced an even better stop on hand to somehow deny Wissam Ben Yedda from point blank range. Good positioning from the goalkeeper. Ben Yedda may have been disappointed either way. Despite Monaco being on top for the majority of the first half, they went into the half time break 1 0 down as Teddy Turma played an effective 1 2 with Mohamed Darami and then found the top corner. Darmi laying it up on the edge of the box. Sublime first time finish. It's fifth of the season. Malta International is the club's top scorer. Now clear by two goals. Ramps with an excellent campaign so far. The goals being shared about. Eight players, at least two. Huta would have been disappointed to see his team losing at the break despite dominating large parts of the first half. But whatever he said during the interval seemed to have an immediate impact as his side drew level within five minutes of the restart. Alexander Golovin with what was most likely intended as a shot turned into an assist. As ben Yedda deflected it into the far corner for his ninth league goal of the campaign. Five in his last five in all competitions. However, within five minutes, France restored their lead through a brilliant individual goal. Reda Kadra receiving the ball near the halfway line, taking it past a number of defenders and then firing low past Philip Kern. The first goal for the Germans since joining Rance from England in the summer. Lovely flick to set him on his way. And then leaving the rest in his wake. Great footwork comes the first German to score for Rance in Liga Ubritz since 1979. After falling behind for the second time, Monaco struggled to mount a fight back. The wayside looking the more likely to net again as Kazra almost bagged a brace with another individual effort. And as Monaco pushed for an equaliser later on, they left too much space at the back. And the visitors made them pay, adding a third in stoppage time through Azor Matusiwa. Another nice one too. And another nice finish into the top corner. Job done for Ans. Brilliant performance, both in attack and defence. Sees them move above Marseille into sixth. Cuts the gap to their now fourth placed opponents to four points. Start 2024 by showing they are a genuine force to be reckoned with for the European spots.